Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today I'm here to show you on the Butler system how to offset patterns. So I know that there are videos on how to offset patterns, but I find that you still need to do some tweaking of your pattern even when you get your offset pattern set up. So I thought that I would go ahead and show you how I offset my patterns, especially when my patterns may be larger than my pattern box, but I need to add that second row. I'm gonna go to patterns, pull in our pattern. We're using the clamshell lily and hit the check mark. And then we're going to go to pattern repeat all the way up at the top. And we want to put in, let's do eight of those. Okay, so eight made it so that it popped outside of the box. So eight's a good number. So now we're going to go ahead and go to size. So you want to size that. We want to make sure that our lock is on, that it's orange. If it's unlocked, this won't work. So we want to make sure that it's locked. And then we want to use our sizing with the graduation cap. And now it has sized that so that the width fits in our pattern box. Now, it, if you notice, it's also pulled down lower. So now we want to just go to move and move that all the way to the top. So go to move. And this top button will move that pattern all the way to the top. And now we want to add an actual second row to this. So we can just go and hit this plus. And it has added another one up there. And I'm going to see if I can grab it and bring it down so we can see it. Okay. Now we want to go to pattern repeat. We had eight up here. Now we want to make it so that we are adding a pattern repeat of nine. Okay, so now we've got the nine in there. What we want to do now is we want to center it. So we're going to go back to move again. When I hit the move icon, <laughs> we don't want to rotate. We want to move. And what we want to do is we want to center this. So I'm going to hit this center icon here. And now the pattern is centered. Now what I have to do is I have to move this pattern up as to how close I want it to be to the next row. So what I can do is use my move up button here and we just continue to do move up. And so I may need to do that with my hand just to get it to move a little faster here. And if you need to, you can zoom in so that you know you've got the absolute correct spacing you want for your designs. But since this is just a video, I'm just going to stop it right there. But you could zoom in if you need to by hitting this plus button. It will bring it in for you so you can see how close you really are. But we're going to just go back out so we can see the entire design. Okay. Now, the issue with this is that we could crop this and be done. However, when we do that, we're going to be having some things that are outside of our pattern stitching box that's not going to stitch. So what I end up doing is I go ahead and I merge 
these designs. So I'll go over here and hit the merge button. And I know a lot of people don't like to use this merge button and say it gets used wrong. But this is the only way that I know how to merge my pattern, make it one. And now I just have one stop, one start and one stop. And now I can take this and resize it to make it so that I can get it above the line here. So I don't want to change my width. I just want to nudge this up. Or you can make it whatever size you want, you know. But I like to give myself a little room for rolling. So I'm going to stop right there. And that's the size that I want my actual design to be. Now I'm going to go back into crop. Because now I want to crop it so I can get my second row cropped. And then I go ahead and hit that crop button. And now you have taken your design. You have added your offset row. You have resized it. And you have cropped it and it is now ready for sewing so i hope this video has been helpful i will see you all in my next video thank you so much bye bye thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and i'll see you in my next video bye bye t quilters stay blessed